Hello, everybody. Greetings from another travel blog. Just for context for the new watchers, I have been to 106 countries. Well, my name is Percy, origin from Turkey, living in New York. I'm a traveler, I'm an author, I'm an entrepreneur, and I'm a traveler, and I've been to 106 countries so far. So now I'm making this very basic video series where I share my experience on the countries that I have been to, which will be around 10 minutes each country. And today I'm going to speak about Taiwan, country that I have been last month which is August 2024. And while I speak sometimes, my eyes might divert from the camera and that means I'm checking my notes as I'm doing right now. And I'm, I'm keeping these videos very simple intentionally because I want you to guys feel like it's a conversation between friends. So I'm not, there are no fancy edits or cuts or transitions. It's just us talking and I'm sharing my experience about the country. And as I have mentioned today, I am going to speak about Taiwan. Well, I have been to Taiwan. This was my second time in Taiwan. I was in Taiwan in 2014 while I was in Japan. And I was planning to be in Japan for four weeks, but after three weeks, because I was traveling to fast train, I felt that I more or less did the whole country, traveled the whole country. So I wanted to fly somewhere near and it was Taiwan. And I was in Taiwan for a week. Being back after 10 years felt good. And I remember the last time I was in Taiwan, I really enjoyed it. It was also back then, Japan was quite expensive. Now it's cheaper because of the currency situation. But back then it was quite expensive for me at least. And being in Taiwan was like a relief because it was way cheaper than Japan. But I also enjoyed how clean, quiet and good infrastructure it had. But being there after 10 years felt very good. This was my second time and I would like to go again because it is a country not only that I would like to visit but it's also a country that i wouldn't mind that i would live in it's a it's a beautiful country with beautiful people in it and when you go from the first moment you see how clean it is and also before taiwan i was traveling in countries like the philippines indonesia and all these countries which are wonderful countries but with less infrastructure a bit less clean than taiwan so being in taiwan which is more more in the same league like uh, japan south korea and all these countries it was a relief to be in a country that is extremely clean and extremely quiet and people are extremely respectful. So yeah, it's, it's a good place to rest your mind. So Taiwan being clean and quiet, these are like huge, huge perks, obviously. And another really important thing about Taiwan, which I really like is the infrastructure. Taiwan has amazing infrastructure. By this, I mean, from the moment you land at the airport, you take the metro to the city center, you can access everywhere with metro or subway, even between the cities. Like I have taken a train from Taipei to Taichung, which is on the south part. And there were a lot of options. Like they have the speed rail, which you can go there in like 45 minutes, which is amazing. The roads are amazing as well, by the way. But I have taken a slower train because it was like cheaper. It's like instead of twenty dollars or thirty dollars, I paid like five, six dollars, and it was like a, it was like a metro in the city. Like the seats weren't like an intercity tra train. It was more like you're on the subway in New York, so it was that style. And I did it for four hours. But my point is, you can access everywhere in the country easily with the metro, with the subways. You don't. There are also buses, but you 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 don't really need that. The country is extremely well connected, and the transportation prices are very very cheap. So in that case. Taiwan is a very easy country to live and travel as well. And another nice thing that I like about Taiwan is everybody lives here alone. Because in some countries, like in Indonesia, for example, everybody was so nice. But because I'm a foreigner, a white Western foreigner, people were like, oh, oh, hello, 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 a lot, doing that a lot. Even with good intentions, like they weren't bothering me. But it, it felt a bit too much at some point. But in Taiwan, nobody would ever do that to you. Nobody would look at you. Nobody would care, which is something that I prefer, that I like most of the prices are, are good as i have told you like you can go to a local restaurant and eat for two or three four dollars for five six dollars you can have a really this meal more than ten dollars you can have like good good meal as well so the prices are pretty good like transportation prices are good food prices are good even like the hostels were around like ten dollars hotels 15 20 dollars so that was pretty good as well and they have good food like you just go out, go out, go out on the street you'll see a lot of local restaurants a lot of them are in Chinese, like not a lot of people, or in Mandarin. Uh, a lot of people don't speak English. So when you go to a local restaurant, you wouldn't find the menu in English, which is something that I like because it means for me that the, the place is not touristy. 
So I go there and I'm like, I'm, I point at a foot in the next table, which seems nice. I'm like this one, please. And then they're like, do it. And obviously now there's Google Translate. So you can also like use the camera on Google Translate, which directly translates, or there are some menus with photos, or you can just go and point at anything and they'll give it to you. But they have good food. I do like good food. I don't like the stinky tofu, which is, uh, as you can understand from the name, it's a stinky tofu, which is pretty famous in Taiwan or infamous, uh, as you prefer, whatever your <laughs> preference lies. But yeah, I don't like to stink tofu that much, but in general, I do like food in Taiwan. And as I said, the whole country is connected. So you don't only have to confine yourself with Taipei, you can travel the whole country within a budget very easily. Also, I managed to, like a friend of mine, drove me from Taichung to the airport. And that was also a good experience because the roads are fantastic. So it's just like in the US, straight, clean, great asphalt, great road, very easy to get by. So you can also rent a car and just drive around the country because it's an island. So you can just circle around it, which um, I would like to do next time, actually. And as I've said, the English level isn't great, but in today's world, it's not a huge problem. Like 10, 15 years ago, it was a bigger problem. But now with Google Translate, our smartphones, with all these apps that you can tra speak and it translates or the other way around, or you can take a photo of a menu or a sign and you understand what it is. So yeah, it is pretty okay, but it's not very English friendly. And I mean, they're friendly towards foreigners, but yeah, you don't see a lot of signs in English at all. But they do understand the basics, obviously, when you go there and say cafe, which is cafe is cafe in Chinese or Mandarin as well. But yeah, they understand what you said, but you cannot like sit down and have a, a huge conversation, big conversation with them. And speaking of food, actually, one of the things that are really famous that is really famous in Taiwan and I really like is the hot pot. If you don't know what hot pot is, basically, like you're on a table and the table has a hub like to heat things so they put like a pan on it and mostly they boil water on it and they bring you like raw vegetables and meat that are either that are easy to cook and you cook it cook it cook it at that time so you know it's fresh well you hope it's fresh but yeah meat comes and all that so usually like there, there's more than one person so while i was in taichung i was staying with a family from taiwan like a girl and her parents and they took me out to hot pot and it was like i paid like less than ten dollars for me so that was pretty cheap as well for the food and a lot of vegetables and a lot of meat so whatever you want to eat you just put it in the boiling water and then you pick it up put it on your plate and a lot of side dishes as well so that was real nice so i definitely recommend i mean hot pot is famous everywhere like there are a lot of hot, hot pot places even like in the US and Europe as well. But yeah, when you go to Asia or Taiwan, definitely try hot pot, you'd like it. And in general, I felt good in Taiwan. Like I do feel good in Taiwan. It's a place that I wouldn't just travel, I would also live. It's easy, it's cheap, it's safe, it's secure, it's clean, people are respectful. So yeah, it is pretty developed and you can find everything you need there. So yeah, it is a beautiful country, it's a beautiful place. And I would definitely recommend people to go there. I did enjoy it a lot. And so I hope you would as well. So these are my comments about Taiwan. So if you like this con if you like this type of content, don't forget to like and subscribe. I do share a lot, not just about travels, but also about productivity, about English learning. As a person who travels and works digitally and makes money and improves himself, I try to help others to do the same. So if you have any comments or questions about uh, my experience in Taiwan, or if you've been there, or if you're planning to go there, please write it in the comments. And yeah, keep following what I do if you're enjoying it. And I'll see you in another video. Take care of yourselves. Bye.